Okay, it's my turn. All right, the top of the page first says subject and predicate. I'm in this gray box here. The complete subject tells whom or what the sentence is about, while the complete predicate tells what they are doing or have done. The simple subject is the main word in the subject, and the simple predicate is simply the verb. So with your pencil, we're going to draw what I call a fence post. So in between your house and your neighbor, you can have a fence. And we're going to draw a fence between the subject and the predicate. So our subject is who. And our predicate is what they are up to. All of the families traveled to California. Who? Families. What did they do? Traveled. So between those two, I'm going to put my fence post. So my fence post is between the subject and the predicate. What are we doing? And the subject is who? The predicate is what? Would you read us number two, Max? Who did? Baby Betsy, Billy, Joe, and Ted. And what did they do? Stayed in the cabin. I guess. Would you read us number three, Hadley? My Told. <coughs> okay. Who did? Father. And what did he do? Told. Very good. Tilly with your mask on, number four. Okay. Who did? And what did you do? So our fence post goes between I and bait. Very good. So anything before this side, these are the subjects. And anything on this side are the Predicates. If you're not sure how to spell it, it's the title. <coughs> so the subject is who or what. The predicate is what they are doing. Okay, part B. Draw a circle around the simple subject in each sentence, then write it on the line. Okay, so we're going to be looking for who. Betsy learned how to walk. Who did? Betsy. Betsy. Notice I did a capital B. Read us number two, Zoe. Um, the miners ate it up. Who did? Miners. Miners. And these are gentlemen that dig for gold or metal. 
Cole, diamonds, diamonds, emeralds. All right, read us number three, midnight. The new baby looks at me. Read it again. That's not what that says. The new baby looks like me. Who does? The baby. baby. See if you can do four and five. And then just a hand on your hips. Someone the other day telling me they didn't have a clipboard. I don't. Oh. Isabel, you don't have a clipboard? Can I put this one in your locker? Yes, no? Okay. Do you like it? Yes. Okay, my feet are tired. What is tired? Feet. Feet. I saw that several of you put my. Number four subject is feet. My just helps us understand who they belong to. The man started a laundry. Who did? Me. Man. Why does it say the man started a laundry? Uh, this is about a story called Boomtown. We'll read later in the school year. My name is Man. Okay, part two. Draw a circle around the simple predicate. Then write it on the line. So we're just looking for the action verb. What are we looking for? The verb. The verb. Okay. We made a pie together. What did we do? Made. made. First, we rolled the crust. What did we do? Roll. Roll. Lily, is that what you were going to suggest? Yeah. Okay. Are you comfy enough to try three, four, and five? Yes, yes. Okay. When you get a chance, I would really like it if you would pick up all this recycle worthy stuff. Okay, I'm doing that. I look up this one recycling. Mm -hmm. You didn't write them on the line, sister. I'm worried about you. Make sure your letters look like they're supposed to. That looks like it says M U something D. And that does not say R O L L E D. Mm, check number five. What did we do? What is happening? This reminds me of when there's drama on the playground. Who? What did they do? Oh, Who would God be God the God. subject? What would be the action? Read us number three, Phoebe, please. What did I do? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Number four, four. Uh, it bakes for one hour. What does it do? Bakes. And number five, would you all read it with me? Everybody loves our time. What do they do? Love. Oh, I, I, mean, I didn't try pie. It said everyone. I need to try pie. I like oh, pumpkin pie. I didn't try pie. Uh, 
Um, Any questions on this side? All the back? Um, you need two colors. Um, need two colors. being quick. We need a label for simple subject and simple predicate. So simple subject needs a color. And simple predicate needs a different, not similar color. I'm not going to answer these art questions that you guys should be able to handle. We've done this for weeks now. This should not be a new procedure for you. Okay, so let's go through. The very first thing we're going to do is do our fence post. And the instructions tell me to do that. And then they tell me to identify the symbols. Would you guys like me to read the sentences or would you like me to pick you? Mrs. P's class took a trip to the museum. Who went somewhere? Class. And what did they do? Took. So I'm going to write class here. And took here. And then I'm going to make my word took this color because it's my predicate. And this word here, my subject. So I should have a rectangle that's divided. If you have a subject and a predicate, you have a sentence. This one's a really weird sounding sentence. It doesn't have all the interesting details, but this is a sentence. Class took. Do you have a subject? Do you have a predicate? Yes. So in the simplest form, that is a sentence right there in your funky donkey rectangle. Number two. Many large paintings hung on the walls. What did? Many large paintings, and what did they do all day? Oh. Hung on the walls. Oh. It is time now for lunch. Yes. Can you listen to my instruction before you get all hype and leave your desk? Yes, ma'am. When you return from recess, you are going to complete the rest of this page on your own. <laughs> If you get stuck, you can go to the other side and check out what we did at the beginning. If you really cannot figure it out and you've tried for a couple of minutes, then you can come see me. I don't want you to just go, oh, I'm just going to ask her. I would like to see that you try and give it a big kid effort, okay? Is that fair? Okay, if you have a blue box, make sure your leg gets on it so it doesn't spill by accident. Or if you don't need it, it can go back in your locker when you line up for lunch. Other than that, it is time to pray and go snacky-ducky.